And to the west of us, a lot of snowed rage house from Utah, searching the dad food. Idaho! And search out the Northeast Rogan Raid and sleep the snow shots of Northeast Rogan East Rogan and up into the Washington State. A lot of rage shots from West. Now Central California, the North Forest of California, and up into the West Rogan and Washington State and British Columbia, few snow shots mixed into the seven. British Columbia, about to the snow and sleep shots at the Cascades of Washington State and snow shots, snow and sleep shots, North and Idaho. Oh, snow shots at central and sub central portions of British Columbia, sub central portions of Alberta and western portions of Saskatchewan. Tits in Montana, good morning, 26 degrees with clear skies here. Okay, let us take a look at our satellite loop and it shows. Never back to the clouds from Northeast of Portland, Texas, and Louisiana, and Mississippi, and stretch it out in the central plain states, and stretch it into the Dakotas, and up in the Saskatchewan, and down the western portions of Western portions of Manitoba. Never back to the clouds from coming to the Northeast and the Great Lakes, and stretch it out in Quebec, and stretch it in Atlanta, Canada, and never back to the clouds from Northern California, Nevada, and down Utah, stretch it in Dover, Rockets, and the Pacific Northwest, and down from British Columbia, down from Western portions of Alberta, down from Eastern portions of Alberta. Here. All right, let's take a look at our map situation here. High pressure centered in Northern California. High pressure centered in Eastern Idaho down for Wyoming. High pressure centered in the southwestern portions of Colorado. Low pressure centered in the southeastern portions of California. Northeastern New Mexico, Central Texas, North Central Texas, Northeastern portions of Kansas. Low pressure searching off the coast of Maine here. Front body from Central Oregon and from Northern Nevada. Right about the way off the California coastline. Right about the way at southeastern portions of California down from western portions of Baja California, Mexico. Front about from Northern Mexico, stretch to Texas, and down Oklahoma, and down to Kansas. And front about from Oregon down to Northern Nevada. Right about the way from Central Colorado down to Eastern New Mexico down from western portions of Texas. Here. And warm front from Western Washington out to the British Columbia. State Street front from Alberta down from Montana down South Dakota, Nebraska down from Kansas, and the cold front from Missouri down from Illinois, Indiana down to Ohio. Warm front search to the Western Pennsylvania down Peak front door to over Michigan. Cold front from Cuba search to the Atlantic Seaboard and then the peak and warm front out the coast of Maine up to Nova Scotia. It's 33 degrees in the temperature right now here in Boston. It's 36 out in Washington, D.C. 31 out in Atlanta. 52 in Miami. 50 in Ransville, 46 in Dallas, Texas, 48 out in Albuquerque, New Mexico, 30 out in Denver, 43 in Salt Lake City, 54 in Los Angeles, 57 in Seattle, 57 in San Francisco, 44 in Seattle, 32 in Kansas City. It's a sweep. Congratulations. Thank you. 37 in Kansas City. 12 in Chicago. And 3 above in Minneapolis. Regional temperatures, it, it's 34 in Boston and in Norwood and Taunton and out in Marshfield and stretching out in Falmouth and in New Bedford. 35 in Winslow, 36 out in Marfa's Venue, 39 in Nantucket, 37 and out in Ace and 36 in Provincetown, 32 in, in Providence, it's 30 out in Webster, 38 out in Worcester, 31 out in Lemonster, 33 out in Bedford and in Beverly, and 32 out in Gloucester, 33 in the Nashua, 36 in, in 30 in Manchester, New Hampshire, 33 in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, 31 in Cockney, New Hampshire, 27 in Key, New Hampshire, 28 in Greenfield, 26 out in Amherst, 29 out in Springfield, 29 out in Windsor Locks, 30 out in Hartford, 28 out in, 20 out in Waterbury 31 in Meriden, 28 out in Denbury, 32 out in Bridgeport, 32 in New Haven, 35 in New London. It's 33 out in East Hampton, it's 32 out in Islip, 34 in New York City, 23 in Albany, and 23 in Benetton, Vermont. Okay, let's take a look at our HBC forecast discussion for this. No racer exited East Coast late Friday. I never ran a winter river on Saturday for the East Coast. And rain and mountain snow continue for the Northwest United States. The big northeaster which will recently deliver heavy snow and nice to much of the south and eastern states by heavy snow and coastal rain to New England before exiting the region by Friday afternoon. As the storm system continues to deepen over the Canadian Maritime, strong gusty winds are likely over the Northeast United States on Friday. Improving weather is expected on Friday for the Mid-Atlantic region. Fall beyond us. Since there will be another winter 
weather event from the central population to New England, rapid cycle genesis to forecast over the, the offshore waters of the Atlantic Mine in the weekend. Given this disturbance, will be quick moving along with the majority of the Mr. Mine. Fourth and remaining offshore snowfall pass should be considerably less than was observed on Wednesday and Thursday. However, it still resulted in light to locally moderate amounts over the deep snow cover. Sustained moisture flow from the Pacific is expected to keep conditions unsettled across the northwestern quarter of the nation and extended eastward to the northern Rockies. Widespread moderate to occasionally heavy precipitation expected from the Pacific Northwest and the Mountain West and northern Central Rockies for Saturday night. Most of the precipitation should be in the form of rain, except for the higher elevations where significant so is likely for the Northern Cascades and Rockies here. Okay, let's take a look at our forecast discussion here for New England. Intense low pressure will move to the Maritimes today with a strong westerly winds in its wake and have a significant winter storm will affect mainly eastern New England this Saturday the Saturday night as cold and dry weather prevails. Late this weekend into Monday, the approaching front will be light snow Monday night and change it over the way during Thursday. Dry conditions will prevail for our late week with some milder temperatures here. Near term until 6 p.m. this evening, dry slot was lifted north across much of the eastern half of New England with the transformation band of heavy snow confined to eastern New York and far west Connecticut. and a few bands of rain and snow were lifted north across the central New England and its mid-level low moves to the not during the next few hours, expect for the deformation band to move into the western New England with a few hours of accumulated storm. As a result, we can't wait to storm morning going on for our western zones for 12 Z. Bad of storm will be weakened as it moves into the eastern New England with any accumulation less than an inch. Today, any leftover snow showers will quickly exit to the north. Slowly after the daybreak, otherwise, cloudy skies will give way to increasing sunshine in the afternoon from south to north. Using the blend of the MOS and model temps for maxes will be. Mostly in the 30s today, the main concern for the today is strong west winds will be developed as powerful low pressure moves into the mirror tops of strong pressure gradient across New England. GFS sounds are quite robust with potential for gusts to 45 to 50 miles per hour across the region, especially southern eastern New England. He is more conservative but still has a potential for miles per hour with 50 knots over, that technically will blend the output from the NAMD GFS initial high wind water for the Cape Town for a possible gust of 50 and 60 miles per hour and a wind advisory east of the Connecticut Valley for a gust of 45 and 50 miles per hour. Okay, let us take... Oh, <clears throat> and we got a winter, another potential winter storm on our hands Saturday afternoon and Saturday night. Time in the next storm, mainly Saturday afternoon and Saturday night. Heavy snow potential for the river. <laughs> Along the southeast of the Boston to Providence Corridor. Highest risk for heavy snow, Cape of the Islands. Blowing the drifted snow across the Cape of the Islands may result in zero visibilities on Saturday night. I keep the snow still possible across the interiors of a lower covenant. Create a strong and damaging wind possible across the southeast doing good on Saturday night. I say six, eight inch amounts possible from Hingham and Plymouth. So you can get a lot out of it. General 46 amounts from Nantucket and Cape Neam, down to much of Plymouth County and Bristol County, Norfolk County, down to much of Red Island and southeast of Worcester County and stretch it up into Boston and stretch it up to the north shore. Two to four inches possible for Merrimack Valley down to the western suburbs of Boston and down for Metro West Boston and down to much of Worcester County and stretch it up to western Massachusetts and down to Norfolk Connecticut. One to which is possible from, Har from, from parts of Connecticut and down for Worcester County. That will issue a winter storm. We have a wind advisory effect from 10 a.m. this morning to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time this evening. The location of New Hampshire, Central Eastern Massachusetts and all Rhode Island. Winds west of 20 to 30 miles per hour. Gusts up to 50 miles per hour. Timing. Late morning for this afternoon. The impacts winds this strong are keeping a little down to some small tree limbs and branches that are causing isolated power outages. A wind advisory is issued when sustained winds are forecast to be 31 39 miles per hour. Gusts will range between 46 and 57 miles per hour. Winds this strong are keeping a little down to small tree limbs and branches possible causing isolated power outages. Traffic going to be difficult. Especially for high profile vehicles. Yes, it's true. <laughs> Winter storm watch remains in effect from Saturday morning through late Saturday night. Location most of Red Island and Eastern Massachusetts along the Eastern Interstate 95 corridor. This includes Cape Cod and Elms. Heavy snow be the hazard types. Accumulation snow accumulation up to 6 inches possible. Timing Saturday afternoon and night. Temperatures in the low 30s. Impact snow cover rails will whistle the hazardous driving conditions. <laughs> 
Born and drifted, no possible. Wins enough 23 boss, but gets up to 45 boss. But visibly, he's one quarter barrel less than times. Eight winter storm watch is issued. They play that until accumulate the snow of six or more inches in 12 hour period, or eight or more inches in 24 hour period. Anyone traveling the next 24 to 36 hours should monitor later forecast to be prepared to mortify. Travel plans should be weathered well. Best picture race. I'm Special weather statement any rain or mixed precipitation will be changed to snow over the next hour from two from west to eight. That's steady snow will then. Quickly coming in my mid morning is it snow in condition one to three inches are possible with most of the day. Across the interior of New England. The main concern for this model will be on treated roads and walkways will be icy. Though some locations along the coast have temperatures above freezing, the ground is still very cold and a lot for ice to melt. Motorists and pedestrians should be prepared for icy walkways and roads this morning, dear. Okay, let's take a look at our seven day forecast goals like this for today. Cloudy skies, the ground will become a most of the sky's high to 37 degrees, breezy winter. West wind about 14 22 miles per gust size, 46 miles per hour. Tonight, increased gods with a lower at 24 degrees. West wind about 8 to 30 miles per hour becomes a slight south of a thermidite. Saturday, snow may lift at 1 p.m. The snow can be heavy at times. Patching fall between 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. Patching event, patching dead fog. A freezing fog after 3 p.m. I do 37 degrees. Let off feast wind about 6 to 11 miles per hour. Increase it in that. Pain. Speed in the morning and chance of precipitation is 8%. Clear, New snow conditions are 2 to 4 inches possible. Sorry that. Snow available before midnight. The snow could be heavy at times. Patchy fog between 7 p.m. and 1 a.m. Patchy dense freezing fog before 7 p.m. Low around 18 degrees north wind about 18 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation is 8%. New snow conditions are 1 to 3 inches possible. Saturday, most of the sky is 28 degrees west wind about 30 to 60 miles per hour. Say that. Most of the coast got lower than 6 degrees. Washington's birthday. Sight skies out here, 27 degrees. Monday night, a chance of snow. Most skies got lower than 22 degrees. Chance of precipitation is 40%. Tuesday, rain of snow likely. Most skies got higher than 41 degrees. Chance of precipitation is 70%. Tuesday night, park skies got lower than 20 degrees. Wednesday, most skies got higher than 43 degrees. Wednesday night, most skies got lower than 30 degrees. And Thursday, park skies got higher than 46 degrees. Peters, what a phrase of the day! A cloudy day on tap and more storm on the way for tomorrow. This is BJ Wizzy with a good day with a good positive attitude here. 34 Beverly 33. Happy Valentine's Day.